Hopeful, like I mentioned, from the state of Florida, Mr. Dean Santoro. It's a little bit high for me. How's everybody doing today? It's awfully cold up here in Washington, D.C., so I left the warm 85, 90 degree weather in Miami to come up here and talk with you and meet you. A lot of you I've spoken with on the phone. We've conversed over email and websites and my website. And I want to thank you very much for showing up here today to represent the freedom movement in the United States of America. Now I have a question, as a few of the other candidates who've been on stage have asked you, how many people like to pay taxes? No, we, we none of us want to pay taxes. We're told by some folks that taxes are necessary. An income tax is necessary to support the government. It's necessary to support the men who live and work in this building behind us. That may be true. However, we are here today for a very specific purpose. It may not be a common purpose we all agree on, but we can't agree to disagree on some things because we all agree on one thing. America is a free country and we want to keep it that way. The only way to keep it that way is for each of you to do the work of freedom. That work of freedom is to spread the word of freedom and liberty at every moment you can. You do this in your daily work, you do it in your daily routine, and you remember that we are living in this country, the greatest melting pot of ethnicities, the greatest melting pot of, of talent. America's got talent, right? We are the country everyone wants to be like. We are the country everyone wants to come and live in. That will never change. That will never change because of people like you and you and you and those that come and immigrate to this country because they know it's free. We need to keep it free. How do we keep it free? You, each and every one of you, work on that message. You work on your family, you work on your friends, you work on your co-workers, and you let them know. You let them know at every juncture that freedom is not free. Linda Honeycutt, our Grammy warrior, let's have a big round of applause for her. The work she has done in the past 12 plus months is undeniable. She has given up everything, loaded up her RV, and traveled this entire country with the freedom message painted on her van in her words. People have traveled with her. They've given up pieces of their lives and time to help her. A lot of you have donated to her campaign of spreading the message. You've paid for gas. You've paid for signage. You've paid for a lot of things. And what is you? what are you going to get in return? Freedom. Absolutely. And how do you keep that freedom? You don't stop. Because a campaign for president may end, because a campaign for Congress may end, that does not mean the end of this message, does it? And what do you say to the person who says that it means the end of the message? You are willing to die for this message? You are willing to die for freedom? That man may be an incarnation of the Founding Fathers right here. They risked their lives, they risked their liberty, they risked everything to come in front of the King of England and to tell him, we will no longer accept your tyranny. It's up to each and every one of you to tell everyone around you who accepts this tyranny and is apathetic that we will not do it anymore. My website, you can go to DeanSantoro.com, get all the information you need about me if if you would like to talk with me, I do want to talk with you. Send me an email. I will make the time because as a representative of the people, I want to hear what you think. I'm not telling you what I think and what I say should go because I represent you. So I need to know what you think. I thank each and every one of you for coming here today. I, I, it's a pleasure to speak. Thank you very much for inviting me. And uh, freedom lives on, my friends. Keep strong.